Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder with another AITA story from Reddit for you. This one is, am I the ass cannot for taking away my insecure daughter's makeup and fashionable clothing for bullying her stepsister? I, female 35, have a daughter, Jessica, female 15, and two years ago I married Joe, male 47, who has a daughter, Bella, female 15. Joe and Jessica have always gotten along well, and I presumed Jessica and Bella would also bond as they are the same age and Jessica has always wanted a sister, and I thought they did get along. At home, they were always nice to each other, shared stuff, seemed to have fun. Recently, I got a call from their school stating that Bella was crying in the office. Before I could ask why, they told me that Jessica was bullying her for being ugly and unfashionable. Bella does have a bit of an alternative style, but I think it's creative and unique and not an excuse to bully her. I was absolutely horrified at this, as when I was a child, I was also bullied for things like that, and I've always raised Jessica to be kind and empathetic. I picked Bella up from school early and took her out for ice cream and let her talk if she wanted to, and she confessed that she didn't say anything because she wanted Jessica to like her, and she didn't want to cause problems, as since her mom died, she hadn't seen her dad so happy. Damn! I then continued to tell her that I wouldn't tell Jessica that she told me, but tell her that the school did to possibly mend their relationship and that she can always talk to me whenever. As although I will never replace her mom, I want to be there for her no matter what. When Jessica came home, I told her that her behavior is extremely unkind and I asked her why she did it. She then continued to say that she is right. She dresses like a freak and looks like a hideous rat and that her friends were teasing her for having to live with her. I then told her that I would be taking away her phone for a week and that she has to apologize to Bella. She then proceeded to say more nasty things about Bella, which then made me snap. I told her I would take away all of her makeup, except her skincare prescribed by her dermatologist and most of her new clothes I bought for her last week. She then started crying, which made me feel bad, but I didn't relent. One of her main interests is makeup and fashion, and she wants to be a stylist when she grows up, but since she is bullying her sister for a related thing, I thought it would be appropriate until she learns to show kindness to others. I have offered to set up therapy or try to discuss it, but she screams I am ruining her life every time I am near her. Bella appreciates my effort, and before anyone asks why Joe is not involved, it is because he goes on a lot of business trips, so he is currently away, and I am a stay-at-home mom. This is complicated because now Jessica is going to get bullied, right? Or teased. I mean, I don't know if those are the anticipated or desired effects of this, but taking away all of her fashionable clothes, taking away her makeup, she's going to go to school and get shit for it. And maybe that's what needs to happen so that she feels the pain that she was inflicting and understands it better and blah, blah, blah. Or it could cause deeper issues. Maybe therapy is the first step. Or maybe this is just a teenage kid being a little shit and they do need to feel the pain. I don't know how to handle this one, and, and if my girls were in this situation, I wouldn't know what to do. I'd be like, Candy Thunder, what do you think? Because I am out of my element here. A teenage girls in the first place are just really difficult for my brain to process because there's no logic. None. It is all emotion. So it's unpredictable. I don't get it. And in this case, I think you obviously have to do something. I just don't know what that thing is. And while I think OP potentially went the correct route here, potentially, it also potentially has some undesired effects too. Like now they're both going to be getting bullied and now it just makes it worse. And I just don't know. This is so complicated. I don't really know what the solution to this is. It obviously has to stop and Jessica shouldn't be bullying her freaking sister. Like that's just garbage. It may go a lot deeper than just the way that she looks. And if her friends were giving her shit because she has to live with her, then her friends are morons too, or just classic teenage little shits. But you can't bully your sister. That's just garbage. She may be lashing out because now she has to share you with this girl. And if her dad's not there and you're a stay-at-home mom, she had you all to herself and then all of a sudden she has to share you. And that could be fueling it here as well. I'm just saying that there are so many possible additional reasons in here. There are so many possible additional routes here that things can go and I can't see them because I don't understand teenage girls. Please help me. Please, you watching this video who might have some kind of better understanding of teenage girls than me, what would you do? What are the possible variables at play here? What are the possible paths? What can be done? What's the best solution in this scenario? OP, mom, you're not the asshole. I know that much. You're not the asshole because you're trying to do the right thing and you're trying to help. I just don't know what the right thing is.